guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Claudia Soto, realtor in Southern California. And today we're gonna to be talking about reasons why we have considered moving to the city of Menifee. So as you guys know, the city of Menifee has boomed in the last few years. It's one of the fastest growing cities in California. And there are plenty of reasons why I think I did a video already about it. Wanted to share our input as not just the realtors, but actual home buyers, home shoppers, and why we are really considering making the move um, and are in the process of making the move. So hope this video helps anybody looking to, you know, get some inside scoop on, you know, what the thoughts are behind a real estate agent and when they move to a different city. So one of the big factors for us was affordability, right? So we all know that the city of Menifee has bloomed and blossomed throughout the last couple of years. And even though it's seen so much growth, it's still one of the more affordable cities compared to Marietta, Temecula, and honestly, even like Wildemar and Lake Elsinore. That's really one of the biggest factors kind of driving us out this way. We can just get so much more house for our money. Also, because of the affordability and because of the growth of the city, there's a lot of new communities out in the area. So we have a lot more options out here as well. There's, you know, there's different price options in the area depending on where you want to be exactly. And it does help give us a lot more options, a lot more affordable options that we can choose from. So that was one of the biggest key factors for us. To really find a home in Menifee right now at this time, you know, in the 500s, in the 600s, and if you really want to go all out and do a lot of, you know, upgrades, then you can hit the 700s and up. But for the most part, a lot of pretty good sized homes are going to be hitting that 600,000 mark. And when I say pretty good sized homes, I'm talking about like 2,500 square feet to 3,000 square feet or, you know, even more. Um, you would definitely be in the higher 600s. So, yeah. That's really why we were like, hey, let's go out to Menifee because if we were wanting to go to Marietta, it would be a lot more money and the options there are just not, you don't have as many options in Marietta right now like you do in Menifee um, or even Temecula. Temecula, your house is gonna be a lot smaller, um, but of course it's Temecula, right? So that's why prices are a lot higher there. Um, another thing, the drive. The drive to those other cities is not that bad, <laughs> um, especially the community we're looking into. We can really go up to Marietta within like five minutes. Um, yeah, I think it's like a five minute drive. It's really close. If we wanted to go down to like the main um, Menifee area where Newport is, it's only like a eight minute drive, maybe 10 minutes if we really have, you know, some some traffic going on and that would take us to you know all of newport where all the shopping is the specific area we're looking into it's very it's tucked away it's very private it doesn't feel like you have a lot going on which is something that we really like the home that we're in right now um, our first home it it doesn't have an hoa so it's in an area that maybe is not as nice for some people but we really like that all of the homes where we're at right now are really spread apart we all have a lot of land so one of the things i liked about the specific location in menifee um which is actually the community of bro Verde, is that it's kind of tucked away it's kind of far away from everything but at the same time you're close to everything and we really like that so that was you know a really big factor in, in bringing us out here. And if we need to go to Temecula for anything, it's a quick drive. Um, if we wanna go to the 215 freeway or the 15 freeway, it's really not that far of a drive. Now keep in mind, we work from home and we don't do you know commutes um, that are nine to five like many people do. So you know I don't have a very um, viewpoint from that side, right? Cause I know I have a lot of clients that live in Menifee and they have to drive rush hour and stuff like that. So I know their viewpoint is a little different than mine just cause I don't have to do that drive. And um, even even the clients though that do have to do that drive, I have heard from them that they're, they're still really happy with their choice and they've settled in and they really don't mind it because at the end of the day, they feel like they made the right decision for their family. Not to say that sometimes it doesn't suck. I've heard, you know, them tell me like, yeah, sometimes I'm just over it, but eh, it is it is what it is kind of a thing. So another huge thing, right? Because the community is growing so much and there's so many new communities out here, a lot of these builders are having pretty good incentives right now. And really ever since they've opened up, they've always had you know, 
incentives that come and go. And so if you can really jump on, you know, when they're offering, let's say like a really low interest rate and, you know, these amazing promotional rates that they have going on, I would honestly just jump on that. It's, it's definitely worth it. Um, if you are a VA buyer, there's a lot of communities out here that are offering pretty good interest rates for VA buyers and even FHA buyers. And, um, that's kind of one thing that drew us to this area just because the rate we were going to be getting was a lot lower than market value right now. And a lot of the communities are also offering like free solar and, you know, of course, covering your closing costs and things like that. So there's a lot of bonuses to buying in the area. Another bonus is if you are looking for a home or if you're okay with getting a home that's more of a, like a ready and, and quickly you can move in pretty quickly and you know everything's already chosen for you and stuff like that if you're okay with that then you'll be able to find some pretty good deals that you can negotiate you know and put some offers in on sometimes people think that new builds you just can't um, put an offer in on them and you actually can um, you just can't put an offer in with the builders reps they um, are strictly you know, working for the builder, so they're not allowed to really put in an offer for a buyer um, like a agent would that's representing you. It's a, it's a little bit different. I know sometimes they will, but um, if you really wanna be able to negotiate, then you have to kind of go through your own or, or you you know, do your own negotiating. And um, yeah, so that was one of the biggest things that brought us out here was just all of the incentives that we, that we saw compared to the other communities. Now, this other topic I'm gonna talk about is, is I think still important, okay? So we are choosing to homeschool the girls. Our girls are pretty young still, but um, we're choosing to homeschool them. But we would like to be in an area where we know that, hey, you know, if we have to put them in school, if we want to put, they decide to go to school, um, then we will just, you know, be able to put them in an area and in a community that um, we feel is, is good, right? And adequate for their education. So where we decided to buy, it's funny because I actually um, have had clients in the past that really wanted to move to the city of Marietta so that their kids could go to the Marietta school districts. And I've had clients end up buying in Marietta, but their children still went to schools located outside of Marietta in the city of Menifee. And so one of those schools is Liberty High School. Liberty High School is a brand new high school because of the growth of the city. There's definitely that demand for new schools. So, you know, we have Liberty High School, and then I believe the schools for this area are Harvest Steam Academy, which is K through eight, has good ratings. It's um, a Winchester school. It's, it's located in Winchester, but it's not a far drive. And then the high school would be Liberty High School, which is literally right around the corner. And um, they all, I've heard nothing but good things about the schools, especially Liberty High. I know people that actually work there and they've had nothing but good things to say about the school, the teachers, the extracurricular activities and things like that. So that makes me feel good in the mommy sense that if my kids need to go to school there, I'm gonna feel comfortable sending them to those schools. And it also makes me feel good on the like real estate side of me where I'm like, hey, this is a good investment. If the schools, you know, typically are higher rating, then you know that the your investment is, is a little safer, right? And your, your equity is gonna to continue to grow. And so that's one thing that we really liked. And because of the growth of the city and the neighboring city, Winchester, there's, a lot of talk about new schools coming into the area and we know that a lot of those schools you know that the demand is there for the schools but also because of the price points of a lot of these homes the schools should have money um, to put into you know the extracurricular activities and their classes and, and things like that and their teachers and so that makes me feel really good about the the community now of course this is me talking as a mom of a four and a half year old and a two and a half year old i don't have kids that are physically going there you know and we are planning a homeschool so you know maybe my viewpoint would be a little different if i had kids that were older but Everybody I've talked to that has their kids going to the schools in the area, you know, they've had nothing but good things to say about the area and, and the schools. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. I hope, you know, that kind of helps. Another huge thing is location. I know we already talked about location a little bit, but we work a lot in the city and in the surrounding areas. So this was kind of like that little hub right in the middle that was going to make it easier for us to just go wherever we needed to go. And that was really like the last 
point that just kind of solidified like okay we need to you know we need to make the move and um we're coming from lake elsinore so we already know the area we've lived in lake elsinore for many years prior to that i lived in uh, the city of paris which is going north like 20 minutes north and then um my husband live has lived in like san diego and temecula before moving to the city of Waldemar, which where he lived for many years and then now his family lives in Lake Elsinore. So we know the area and we were comfortable with, you know, the area. So we actually don't have any family living in the city of Miami. So it's going to be a little bit different and a little bit of a drive now compared to where our family lives now because we all literally live within three minutes of each other right now. So that's the only like negative that I see and that, you know, we really see. But other than that, um, you know, we feel comfortable enough to leave what we know and what we're comfortable with to move out. And I think it also helps that I have a lot of clients that have moved into the community as well and have moved out to the city of Menifee. And so I, like knowing how they are and everything, I just felt more comfortable um, making the move. And so, yeah, that's really it. Um, I hope that this helped you guys with, you know, just kind of seeing like my, you know, hearing my two cents and, and seeing, you know, my viewpoint as a home buyer now and, um, you know, doing the home shopping process in the area. So hopefully that helps, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.